Hello, my dear ones. Now, uh, this particular, I don't do a lot of TV movies. Now, I'm doing an exception. I, uh, my mother has the complete series of McLeod's Daughters. And in this particular box set, you have the original TV movie that was filmed that was um, filmed and sh filmed and shown, I believe, in '96. So uh, this is a story about um, one of the great actors of Australia, Jack Thompson, plays Jack, who has um, who's a drover. Basically, he is a cattle owner and uh, owns a um, homestead in country Victoria um, I don't know if it's in I, I, it's set it, it's filmed in South Australia I don't know if it's actually supposed to be set in um, Victoria New South Wales I'm not really 100% sure um, and he has two daughters um, one who still lives on the farm, she's very protective of the farm, she's very headstrong, um, so, and at the start, the, um, her half-sister has just lost her mother to cancer, and she just has decided, I don't want to be alone, so she goes back to her family home, her father takes her in with open arms and her sister Bracey doesn't want to hoots. But we discover that the place is in serious dire straits. They are over their head, completely, utterly in debt. And all Tess wants to do, Tess is... The daughter that came home and her sister Claire is the one that stays. Now, Tess wants to go to Venice and Jack tries to get her to stay on the farm. Unfortunately, when she tries to drive her ass to Sydney to catch an airplane to go to Venice, Jack stops her. Unfortunately, he dies by his horse, which practically puts Claire in a state of complete and utter shock. So Claire and Tess take it upon themselves to try and wipe out the debt by trying to sell their cattle. <laughs> that backfired because they discovered that they actually sold one of their prize bulls. Now, if I know anything about, I do know some things about the cattle ranch, and you do need a bull. They mistakenly set two to the abattoir. No, really. They get one back. They do get the money to save their bacons. Now, I am showing you the DVD, uh, the DVD TV box set. I'm not sure if you can buy um, the Clouds Daughters, the TV movie, separately. Um, it came in the box set. Uh, I've watched this movie a couple of times, and um, I actually know um, the actor who plays Tess. Uh, she was in a Australian TV series called The... the, the the Brides of Christ. She played one of the students. And the actor who plays Claire went on to do another TV, went on to Channel 7, and this, she popped up in a series called All Saints. Now, uh, they are the two, plus Jack Thompson, the only two I recognised. Um, Jack Thompson is pretty much a legend in Australia. He's one of the really great Australian actors, and um, I think when that man eventually um, passes, the world of Australia would be in utter mourning. <coughs> <coughs> so, um, I will 
And I think it's a great um, – I was supposed to launch a TV series on Channel 9, but I think it took a couple of – I think it took like two or three years. Then the, the series started afresh. Um, so pretty much that TV movie pops up in, I think, the pilot and I think the second episode. They took storylines um, – from the TV movie, they did change a couple of things. Um, the TV series is set post Jack's death, so you never actually get to meet Jack um, or even um, Tess's mother. Um, you also um, subtly they change the hair colors of the of the of the girls. They actually switch it. Uh, Claire uh, Claire is uh, a blonde. In the TV in the TV series, and Tess is a brunette. They switched it for the um, for the series, um, but it was a very successful um, TV series, and it went on for about I think seven or eight years, which is pretty good for an Aussie series. Uh, they didn't change the cast um, towards the end, so. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, if you can hunt it down, it's an, it's a really good Australian movie. Um, I I really should do more Australian movies on this per, on this particular channel. But if you can find it and have seen it, what do you think about it? Please put it down in the comments section below, and I will find another Australian movie to do soon. So, ciao.